definitely the metal smoking, but the ice cubes aren't. So I bought this uh, EHP roll board. I just wanted to test this out. I've got two ice cubes inside of uh, a hot channel, essentially, from the bus. And I've got a blowtorch and I've got some ice cubes in there. It's already melting. Um, but it's physically cold. Freezing cold to the touch. And let's just see how quickly the ice cubes melt. So pretty darn quick. Now what I'll do is assemble some of this EHP roll board up against the opposite side of this. I will throw that same flame on there, two ice cubes, and see how quickly they go. After this cools down, of course, because I don't want to burn myself. Cool. I took two ice cubes, I just took a piece of that EHP roll board and dropped it right inside. I thought about putting it on the outside and then burning the EHP as well, but I don't think it really matters. So I'm gonna just try melting the ice cubes. Definitely, definitely insulating it, 100%. Still not melting. Yep. Definitely the metal smoking, but the ice cubes aren't. I'm happy with that. This might prove to be a, a worthwhile investment. Definitely was expensive. And, oh yeah, look, a little bit of ice. <laughs> it's melting. It's sizzling off of the off. The product Eric tested is called Engine Heat Protection or EHP Rollboard Insulation. As stated by the manufacturer, it's a space age ceramic material that is used to insulate parts from unwanted heat transfer, like the heat coming off of your engine. We first learned about this product from a French Canadian couple on YouTube that is also converting their school bus into a recreational vehicle. The manufacturer also appears to support the use of their product in schoolie conversions as they showcase a bus conversion on their homepage. I've linked all products and tools used in our conversion down below in the description. I went to Home Depot and I picked up a bunch of the supplies, right? I got the rigid foam board. I've got nine sheets of rigid foam board. I've got nine sheets of quarter inch ply. I'm hoping this is gonna work. I'm hoping this is enough. I also got a ton of one by twos and two by twos. What's the game plan? Uh, the game plan today is really just to go ahead and take the, the waterproof tape, fill all of the, the sheet holes throughout the floor, uh, which unfortunately I'm gonna have to jostle around all of the, the supplies, but I didn't really feel like carrying all of the supplies all the way in the backyard and then one by one bring it all the way forward. My wife tells me not to worry about scrubbing this down. There's already paint on there. There's very, very little rust. I'm gonna go along where there is some rust, hit it with the grinder and then paint over it. gonna cost me two days <laughs> if it was me i would have just i wouldn't even be doing this far i'd just literally take the rest of that and roll whoosh, whoosh, done i like, know but i did and actually i bought enough tape to do that yeah why don't you and my husband didn't want to waste a 12 dollar roll of tape so he initially started cutting individual holes to go over the screws i was like no i'm not doing that so then he got a little bit less cheap and we started doing, what, four inch? We started doing four inch strips. And after eight of those, I was like, this is horrible. Don't be cheap. And now, he's 
gonna go a lot faster. Yay. Done with one stroke in under one minute. Before wife arrives. After wife arrives. And it took five minutes. How long did that take you? Four minutes. <laughs> For one piece? For all of it. Once, once you keep it. We stuck to this trend. You would have been that's why doing I, this all day. That's why I called you for the help because I was like, I can't do this. Yeah, so <laughs> use the entire roll and just fill all of these. I'm excited to say that I have actually improved upon my tape cutting method. So let's go take a look. Step one is to take the tape and unroll it on some sort of piece of clean wood. Step two is to cut that piece of wood down the center along the piece of wood. Step three is then cut a perpendicular line down that line that you just made and then you made squares. This doesn't have to be exact. In fact, if any of the pieces are too big, you can easily rip them down to a smaller size so you have even more pieces. Come enjoy the show. So all I'm gonna do is mark where the edge of the board's gonna sit with a marker here. So that way when I lift it up and I lay the glue on, I know not to run past it. Let's go ahead and grab the first sets of furring strips for the floor that I've already adhesed, adhesed, glued, glued. I've already glued the uh, EHP roll board. I'm gonna lay that down inside uh, on the floor of the bus. Let's see how well the layout is. Really, this is just more for my own personal satisfaction just to get something down. Here we are in my wood studio, if you like. Obviously, I've got the miter saw there on a nice stand. Like all wood shops, it's a mess, but I've got my router table, a vacuum system to suck up all of the dust, which obviously, as we can see beneath my cabinet saw here, uh, I'm not very good at using. So I have the cool and groovy vacuum cyclonic dust collector that runs up through the ceiling and throughout and collects dust for each of the machines, but I'm not using it. I don't know why. Here I've laid out the roll board. I've attached the, uh, the roll board to the furring strips. And now I'm gonna go into the, to the bus, just lay it down and see if I can get that um, laid out. Really simple mistake, but it's so easy to make mistakes in cutting, right? Measure twice, cut once type of thing. As simple as this is, and it's not all of that bad, my furring strip for the floor is Welsh, is, you know, good in short, because when I measured it, the fuel cap was moved over here, instead of its correct position there. Boring.
the next morning after I glued the roll board onto the furring strips for the floor and I glued these furring strips to the ground and I would say perfectly sturdy. It's not going anywhere, which is really good. Anyway, looking to make some progress with the floors today. I need to clean up in here. I can't really function in such a messy environment. It drives me nuts and uh, I'm making my own mess here. I'll probably organize this a little bit and then get the work underway. All right, let's take you over to the cutting station. I am so over dramatic. Let's see what Ingrid thinks. Oh, I am so over dramatic, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I was recording you saying that. I knew she would say that. She's just jelly. <laughs> if you love watching our videos as much as we love making them, please subscribe, like, and share. Hey, there you are. Good old trusty GoPro, I lost you. I thought you were lost, but now you're found. Come here, fancy legs. Say that to the camera. Turn around. <laughs> I said I'm assuming you want to use all this tape to go over those four holes down at the bottom here. Yes, the answer is yes. When I'm right, which is 99% of the time.